Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Rick Seward with Eagle Games, Griffin Games. Eagle little Games, Griffin Games. All right. And, and we've got a uh, production sample. I know flown in for Wizards Brew that you're showing off at Origins 2013. Uh, this is this is how the final game will look. It is. Yep. It's exactly the final game. Okay. And due out in August, I believe. Uh, yeah, the ship is actually leaving on June 21st, so we're hoping it makes it to our warehouse, uh, and we're starting to be able to start shipping on August 1st. Okay. Uh, maybe you can give an overview of the game here, what we're doing, uh, what we... Happy to. It's um, an auction-based game, but there's a couple variations on the auction mechanism. The object of the game, if it's a four-player game, which is what we're set up for here, mm -hmm. is to collect different ingredients. These are ingredients. This is your cauldron. You're trying to collect either seven different colored ingredients or eight total, regardless of the color, because as you can see, you could duplicate easily. The uh, game rounds are played in four stages. There's a player aid chart to cover that. Uh, the first phase, you deal out a number of spell cards. These are spell cards, equal to the number of players in the game. And you bid on these spell cards using energy cubes. Every player has 10 energy cubes. The bid that you make on the card is equal to the powering up that you're going to make of that card. So for instance, let's say that this hurricane card came in. It's a powerful card. It requires minimum bid of two and it also requires powering up with two energy cards, each, two, two energy cubes each round. So if I bid, I've got to bid either two or four, whatever I bid is going to go on the card. This is a once around bid, so if it's, uh, you're the successful bidder, you'd have probably four or six energy cubes on that card. That means you'd be able to use this card for two of the rounds. And each card, it would generate in the second phase, elements and these are the four element cards earth wind fire and air in this case it tells you that for every round you're able to power it up you're going to get three air cards and the air cards are your hand and what you use to bid in the ingredient phase so we'll move which on then takes the, place on the board here exactly then we'll move on to the ingredient phase if you won the third bid for the spells in that phase, you get to move the horse. The horse is a wanderer. It has to be moved to an adjacent space. And let's say I had some cards, some spells that I picked up that gave me some power in plains. The board is divided up into woods and plains and ocean and desert and mountains and the city. There are certain cards, spells, that give me powers in the plains. I'm gonna try and negotiate that horse toward my powerful spots. I also might have a card, a spell card, that makes air cards wild. I also want to gravitate toward uh, wild cards that I have in my hand. Uh, so I'm trying to push the horse one direction, my opponents are trying to push it another, but wherever it goes, it creates the next auction. I've previously, even though I didn't do it here, rolled the dice. That means there are going to be five horse visits on this particular ingredient phase round. And each time we make a visit, we're going to move the die down. But each time someone wins by bidding the appropriate ingredient card to the area, they choose an ingredient. I already have red and white here, so I'd probably choose purple, still hoping I can get seven different ingredients and complete that complete the game. And then the fourth phase of every round is the energy phase. That's where we power down the cards. If I've got four on this spell, it requires me to use two because I've used that card. They go back and they recycle. So it's betwixt and between. The more cards I have powered up, the more spells I have, the more power I have on the board. But when it comes to bidding, I might have all my energy cubes on my spells and be powerless to add new spells. So it's a recycling power auction, collect the ingredients. Pull together the combinations of things that are going to work where you, you hope to go. Spells are the heart of the game. The interesting thing about this game, it's a short game. I mean, it's a 45 minute to 60 minute game. It literally plays differently every time because you've got the variability, the ingredients are different every time. These chips are upside down. They're in different places every time. The spells that come into play in any given game, maybe 25% of all the spells in a four player game come into play. Sweet spot for this game, it's three to six. 
is probably four or five. It's the typical phenomenon of three. You got a lot of control, possibly less interactivity as a result. Six, more randomness, more chaos, still fun, but random and chaotic for that mix of, yeah, sure, there's some chaos, there's some risk, there's some randomness, but you still have a little more control. So uh, good game for that number of people. Uh, good game if you like uh, the way spells work, combinations of spells, certain are certainly more powerful. It's You create situations, you make of it what you can given the spells that come up that you bid on. That's life, isn't it? Yeah, you got to work with what comes up. I think, I, it's, uh, I think it's life. I think it's a you know, microcosm of that. Okay. With wizards. Yeah, wizards rule. All right, thanks, Ray. <laughs>